In this lecture, we will cover extreme programming in detail. Here, the learning objective is to recall agile software development approaches. This is marked as K1. So you have to remember the points. To make it easy for you, I will explain the points so that it will help you to remember them. There are several Agile approaches, each of which implements the values and principles of the Agile Manifesto in different ways. In this syllabus, three representatives of Agile approaches are considered. Extreme Programming, Scrum, Kanban. And in this lecture, we will cover extreme programming in detail and in the upcoming lecture, we will cover Scrum and Kanban. Let's see what is extreme programming. Extreme programming, originally introduced by Kent Beck, is an agile approach to software development described by certain values, principles, and development practices. Many of the agile software development approaches in use today are influenced by XP and its values and principles. In this lecture, we will cover five values of extreme programming and 14 principles as additional guidelines as well as 13 primary practice described by extreme programming. Let's see the five values. Extreme programming embraces these five values to guide development, communication, simplicity, feedback, courage, and respect where communication means sharing and spreading knowledge across all team members. Most problems and mistakes are caused by a lack of communication. Smaller teams increase communication by reducing the number of communication lines. Simplicity means add new features when they are needed by creating the simplest pieces of code rather than planning for future use and generating large, complicated software that may never be used. Simplicity helps with communication, reduces the amount of code to write and improves the quality. Next is feedback. This is an important part of communication as it enables the team to gauge how far the system is from its needed features. It also helps with simplicity as the team can adopt a trial and failure approach. Courage. The team must be willing to make changes at any time when the design no longer fits and can be prepared to throw code away that doesn't work. Communication, simplicity, and feedback enables a team to have courage to handle big changes and major system refactoring. The last one is respect. Everyone gives and feels the same respect they deserve as a valued team member. Everyone contributes value even if it's simply enthusiasm. Developers respect the expertise of the customers and vice versa. Management respects our right to accept responsibility and receive authority over our own work. This is all about five values of extreme programming, which is used to guide development activity. Let's see the 13 principles of extreme programming which provided additional guidelines and they are humanity, economics, mutual benefit, self-similarity, improvement, diversity, reflection, flow, opportunity, redundancy, failure, quality, baby steps, and accepted responsibility. Now let's see what these words mean in an agile context. First is humanity, here. Human factors are key to delivering quality software as it needs to address the business goals and objectives for the users and organization. Second is economics. The software must produce business value. The third is mutual benefits. All activities should benefit all resources and organizations involved. Next is self-similarity, here we must be able to reuse similar, previous solutions to issues they have encountered before, albeit with different contexts. The fifth is improvement. We should strive for continuous improvement. Sixth is diversity. That means 
We need to implement different skills, approaches within the team to find and resolve different issues and defects. The seventh principle is reflection. The team needs to regularly look at what is going well, what is going badly, and what can be done to improve upon this. The eighth is flow. Here, we need to maintain a continuous, steady flow of work rather than having to speed up near the end of an iteration. The ninth principle is opportunity. We need to see problems and issues as opportunities for improvement. The tenth is redundancy, where we need to avoid adopting practices which will find the same defects in different ways. The eleventh principle is failure in a team one must not be afraid to fail as not only do people learn from their mistakes, but it also saves all the time in trying to find the perfect solution on the first attempt. The twelfth is quality. Everyone in the team must always strive to maintain quality at its highest level. The thirteenth principle is baby steps. It is much better to proceed towards a goal iteratively in a series of small steps as preparing a big change over a long period of time could be dangerous. The last principle is accepted responsibility. Responsibility needs to be accepted by looking at what can be achieved rather than what needs to be accomplished. The team members are more likely to accept responsibility for those tasks. With this, all the 14 principles are covered. You need to just remember the words. We provided explanation so that you understand the meaning is the words with respect to agile project. Now let's see 13 primary practices described by extreme programming. I divided it into four groups so that you can easily remember them. First group is planning and analysis. Here, we four practices stories, weekly cycle, quarterly cycle, and slack, where stories are nothing but the system functionality outlined in the form of a story. Weekly cycle means that the team estimates what stories will be delivered and implemented within that week. Similar to weekly cycle, we have quarterly quickly, where the team looks longer term at a higher level to estimate what be delivered and implemented within the next quarter. The last practice under planning and analysis is slack, which means adding a security margin by including some lower priority tasks on each iteration that can be dropped if the team gets behind. Second group is people factors, and here we have five practices. Sit together, whole team, informative workspace, energized work, and pair programming. Let's start with first practice, sit together. Working together in an open space helps maximize communication. Next is whole team practice. Team must be a cross-functional team with all the skills and perspectives to make the project a success. Third is informative workspace. Here, the workspace should be an informative area that enables the team to display the latest project status and other information visually. Next is energized work. So, teams need to work at a constant pace to remain energized. Last one under people factor is pair programming. All code is written with two developers on the one machine. This promotes informal reviews, knowledge transfer, and produces better quality code. Next group is based on code design, where we have two practices. Test first programming and incremental design. In test-first programming, we write the test before the code so that the developer codes the minimal amount of code to pass the tests, avoids the developer adding all the extra bells and whistles. Next is incremental design. Designing when the team needs to rather than producing a big design up front. In most of the organization, people first write the code and then at the end make all the designs just to compel the process, which is not a correct practice. We should design in an incremental way.
And the last group is related to coding practices, where we have 10-minute builds and continuous integration. 10-minute build is a popular concept where the system should be built and tested within 10 minutes so that it can be executed frequently and provides regular feedback. And second is continuous integration. Here, the developers need to regularly integrate any changes, ideally every two hours, to ease large integration headaches and enable code to be frequently integrated and tested. With this, all the practices of extreme programming are covered. Before we end this lecture, let's have a look into all the key points. In this lecture, we covered 5 values of extreme programming, 14 principles as additional guideline, and 13 primary practice described by extreme programming. 5 values of extreme programming are communication, simplicity, feedback, courage, and respect. 14 principles as additional guidelines are humanity, economics, mutual benefit, self-similarity, improvement, diversity, reflection, flow, opportunity, redundancy, failure, quality, baby steps, and accepted responsibility. And 13 primary practices are sit together, whole team, informative workspace, energized work, pair programming, stories, weekly cycle, quarterly cycle, slack, 10 minutes build, continuous integration, test first programming, and incremental design. With this, the lecture ends.